Hey guys, it's Kelsey. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I'm going to be filming a pretty laid back video. I just kind of wanted to sit back and talk to you guys about everything that has been on my mind lately. It's going to be a bit of a roller coaster. We talk about YouTube, we talk about The Bachelor, we talk about um, breakfast, we talk about our goals, our dreams, our hopes, our desires. So yeah, I just hope you guys enjoy watching this video and let's just jump on into it. Okay, we are back and ready to get ready. So I really hope that the lighting is okay in this video. That is something I'm going to try to really figure out within this year, these next couple of months is to have like good lighting in all my videos and like good color correcting. But Okay, I just want to do my makeup. I have to work later today. I'm sorry if my thoughts aren't like fully together throughout this video. It's really just going to be all over the place. So buckle in, grab a snack, try to keep up I guess. I don't know. I guess the most um, obvious thing to me right now to talk about is YouTube and my YouTube channel. Lately I guess I've just really honestly been struggling with the content that I want to make on this channel. Not that I don't have ideas and videos and stuff that I want to do, but it's more so that all of my ideas and things that I want to do are kind of bigger things that I just, I just don't really have the means to do right now. Like I really, really want to do like some home decor and room transformation, like a little mini office transformation and do like fun videos like that. But all of those types of things, cost money and I am trying to save up money towards those things. I have a budget plan in place to do that but it will take like a couple months if not longer so it's just tough because I do really want to be posting weekly and keeping on track of things. YouTube is like a huge priority to me in long term. This is something I would love to be able to make you know a possible career or side job at some point in my life. Um, I just really do have a passion for it and I feel like I haven't been able to really show what I'm capable of on this channel yet, um, both because I've been putting my own limitations on myself and just thinking that, you know, I don't have the means to do the videos that I want to do and I kind of get defeated, but I still want to post a video so I rush something um, and just put it up there in hopes that it will eventually get better. I want to do quality over quantity, you know, that's obviously something that I strive for in life is just to make good quality stuff. But also YouTube is just such a fast paced thing if you're trying to, you know, start from nothing. You have to be posting frequently or else you're just going to go backwards. So it's just really tough, I guess, and I'm not trying to like make this sound like a poor me situation I, and I hope I'm not being too negative, but I guess I have been kind of thinking negatively about it lately, which I need to turn around. Also, I will just probably list all the makeup that I use in the description box down below instead of kind of getting distracted all the time and telling you what I'm using, so I'll just list everything in the description box. I really want to just sit down and kind of maybe start journaling about what I want to do and thinking bigger picture longer term instead of just like what can I get done this week with you know my already busy schedule with work and school and only having like maybe a day or two to get a video done um, which has been the case a lot lately and I really want to try to you know get out of that system and try to work further ahead and just be more productive I guess with the time that I do put into it so I don't know I would really appreciate any of your guys's feedback on what you would like to see from me or just what you like watching on YouTube in general I struggle with you know thinking like oh I would really enjoy making this video um, but this video is you know proven to do better on YouTube or proven, you know, to be more popular or whatever, but I think that it shows in the video if I am enjoying it and, you know, 
it will just come through in the quality of the video and stuff too. So I go back and forth with that with video ideas that I think will do well and video ideas that I'm just really passionate about and I want to get into a better ratio of videos that I'm just passionate about. Which is, again, hard when you're trying to post weekly. Something that I really struggle with and I'm assuming that some of you guys can relate to is comparing myself to other people and comparing myself specifically to people that have been doing this or doing things that I want to do for a lot longer than I've ever done them, if that makes sense. Like, say if you wanted to start a YouTube channel and then you compared yourself to like the biggest channel on YouTube, like that have been doing it for 10 years. And you're like, oh, well, my videos aren't as good as them. So like, what's the point? But like, they've been doing it for 10 years. And if you looked at their first videos, you know, they would probably look similar to yours. So that's something that I try to keep in mind, but I honestly have always had just such an unrealistic expectation for myself where I always feel like I'm kind of disappointing myself or just not doing good enough, which is a hard thing to break. I don't know, let me know if you guys have any tips for, you know, changing that type of mentality. Also, I think I might have mentioned this in one of my past videos. But it was just my birthday, what was it, like a couple weeks ago, and I turned 23, and 23 just was a really kind of intimidating age, I guess you could say. I felt like 23 was like a new division. Like it's, to me in my mind, 18 to like 22 was like early adulthood, and then like 23 to like 25 I think I would say is like that's a new chapter of like getting your shit together and maybe you shouldn't be living at your mom's house anymore um even though you're still a broke college student and like I don't know you know what I mean I just felt like every birthday no matter what age I feel like there's these unspoken expectations that you like put on yourself. I feel like it kind of stresses me out a little bit where I always feel like I'm not quite exactly where I want to be yet. And it's such a stupid thing because everyone moves at such different paces in their life and no way of moving is right or wrong. But again, it's easy to compare yourself and easy to have these weird expectations and I don't really know if it's very helpful <laughs> in the long run. I really hope this video isn't coming across negative. I don't want to be speaking negatively. I guess I've just had a lot on my mind as far as you know just wanting to do better and balance things better and really bad at not congratulating myself on things and that's something that I do really want to work on. Do you ever just like zoom out on your life and you like think about where you want to be in like five years and you realize that like you may have been focusing on all of the wrong things like in your present day if that makes sense. Like for example if I'm like okay I get paid this week blah blah, blah. these are things that I would really like like right now like oh I could really use another pair of sweatpants because that new color came out and I really like them or just I want to try this new makeup product blah, blah 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 and then you think okay in this many years I want to have a house I would like to potentially have kids blah 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 and you're like I have not actually though been doing anything to get there if that makes sense like as far as like okay I want to reach all these financial goals as far as buying a house or being stable to have kids, that kind of thing. But I have not put a single penny towards that goal, even though that is technically my largest goal. So I just want to start being a little bit more proactive. I think that was the word I was looking for. As far as my long-term goals, thinking a little bit more long-term, kind of zooming out and not getting as lost in the day-to-day. I'm not sure if it's going to go up before this video or after. 
I might do it after because I feel like it just chronologically it will make more sense. But I'm going to be doing a kind of bullet journal slash goals list for 2020. And I'm going to try to structure it with some bullet journal pages so I can set some like longer term goals as well. And just really trying to zoom out and think more deeply about some of these things. If my mind's kind of all over the place, um, I apologize. I think doing that video and doing that journal will really help me just kind of gather all my thoughts. I really, really think that making lists and stuff like that just really helps me kind of feel like I know what's actually going on. I was laying in bed last night and I was thinking about like more videos that I would in really enjoy filming and like things that I would enjoy talking to you guys about. So an idea that came to mind, which is like kind of silly, but kind of everything at the same time. What was I calling it again? Oh yeah, like a chit chat. Okay, so like this is like considered like a chit chat get ready with me, but like a chit chat current events. Wouldn't that be kind of fun? And like in more of the sense, not like, did you hear what's happening with the president? It would be more like, oh my gosh, Bachelor this week was crazy. <laughs> but just like kind of more like chatty video um, where I would like talk to you guys about call it like pop culture nonsense. I don't know, I know it's like really silly, but I really love watching like Housewives, Bachelor, I listen to The Morning Toast every single day. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a podcast and they live stream it on YouTube as well as like post the videos Monday to Friday and it is everything to me and they talk about current events, it's like everything, pop culture and it's so much fun. So I would love if you guys would be interested in that, like doing those like, I don't know, like maybe every couple weeks is like kind of like an extra video where I just like talk to you guys about my thoughts on The Bachelor, um, the housewives that I've been watching, what else do I watch? I just watched all of Shit's Creek and it was like the best thing ever um, and just like random news you know maybe talking to you guys about celebrity happenings you know talking to you guys all about like the Skims launches, the even like the Prince, Harry, and Meghan Markle stuff. Because that has been really interesting to me lately. And I want to learn more about the logistics on all of that. So if you guys would want like, you know, like a coffee time, chit chat, current events kind of vibe from me. I think that could be really fun. I just love talking about that kind of stuff. And I don't know too many people that actually watch all those things that I do. And I try to talk to Jaden about them, but like, he can't like... You can only take so much in, you know what I mean? Also, if any of you guys listen to The Morning Toast, please let me know. I feel like that's just an area in my life that I really need someone to talk to about because it's just so fun and exciting. Also, okay, I'm like so all over the place today. I've been thinking lately about trying lash extensions. I don't know. I'll insert a picture of like the style that I like of lash extensions. I kind of want to try something like that, like kind of like Corinna Koff vibes, like pretty natural, nothing like crazy thick and huge. Those are just like not it for me. But I just literally hate putting on mascara. Like I literally just hate putting on mascara. Yeah, I would just never do it again if I didn't have to. But you literally can't see. And I know, I'm sorry, I keep on saying like literally like, oh my god. I don't know. I don't know. I do have a pretty good vocabulary, but sometimes that's just what you get. So I used to wear this Marc Jacobs mascara all the time. Really, really liked it and I still do, but at my job I'm literally always sweating. It is so hot there um, that my mascara runs like no other and that has never, ever, ever been an issue for me. But literally like raccoon situation which is just crazy I didn't think that this would ever do that to me but it did so I have been trying new waterproof mascaras which I absolutely hate because they're so much harder to take off but um, I tried the better than sex waterproof mascara first time I wore it I had black all underneath my eyes again 
and I was really sad and I know that waterproof mascara isn't technically like sweat proof mascara it is like two different things but to me it just shouldn't be um so yeah that's the tea on that um but and then I watched Sophia Ritchie's Vogue makeup tutorial and she swore by the Maybelline Lash, Lash Sensational Waterproof Mascara. So I literally bought it the next day. And I do like it better than the Better Than Sex. And I um, would rather support Maybelline than support Too Faced. So that's the tea on that as well. They're probably owned by the same company. Who? Do, what do I know? But what I wanted to ask you guys is if any of you guys have tried Lash Extensions. If you have, what is your experience? Um, I'm nervous about it. Also, I just don't really want to make that financial commitment because I literally just started getting my nails done and that is like crazy to me because I haven't paid to get my nails done in years and now I'm like committed to getting them filled. And I don't want to have to do that with lashes too. Also, another thing that I've been trying to figure out lately is... Uh, a good coffee to be drinking every day. I've like recently been going through this thing where like my daily coffees, my daily breakfasts have been like repulsive to me. I just, I don't know how to explain it. I get into like these kind of obsessive, like I'm like, okay, this is the best coffee. I'm going to drink this every day for the rest of my life. And then I drink it like every day for like a year and then I never ever want to see, smell or taste it again. And I feel like I've done that now with a few things and I feel like all my options are gone. So <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to eat for breakfast or drink for coffee literally every morning. I just sit there and I'm like, what am I going to eat? What am I going to drink? Like it's like the hardest decision. And I know that that's so ridiculous, but that is what I've been living lately. I'm sorry. Normally I try to film my videos at night when my mom isn't working upstairs. Um, but this is just the reality of the situation today. But let me know. I would love to know what do you guys drink for coffee? What do you eat for breakfast in the morning? That is probably the most um, pressing. I need to know what you eat for breakfast in the morning. I think I might actually do like a ask you guys on Instagram or something for that because like that is like a really tough one for me. Okay, so I think that's basically all I'm gonna do for my makeup today. Nothing too crazy. I'm sorry if this video was kind of all over the place. I just was kind of chatting with you guys about everything that has been on my mind. And yeah, this kind of went everywhere. But let me know your <laughs> thoughts on everything. Um, yeah, I think I asked you guys to let me know so many different things, but I want to know them all. So please do that. And, uh, watch out. I do have a couple videos coming soon your way that I am excited about. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this kind of more relaxed video. Let me know if you would like more videos this style and some of those, you know, current events chatty videos. Are you guys watching The Bachelor? Let's talk about it. Champagne Gate. Oh my god. When you see this, The Bachelor is probably coming out tomorrow, so I cannot wait. <laughs> I post videos every Sunday, so I'll see you guys next Sunday. Thank you again. Bye. Are you still there? To delete message, press 7. To save it in the archives, press 9. To hear more options, press 0. What are you talking about?